Welcome to another session from LearnReason.com. My name's Matt. In this session, we're going to go over this new uh, Reason Plus subscription that just came out from Reason Studios. And, you know, I've been looking around online and stuff, and there seems to be a, a lot of people are confused about this. And let me just, I'll, I'll sum it up for you and make it really, really easy to understand. Okay, first thing that everybody needs to understand is that Reason Plus is a separate app. It's separate. It's not the same thing as Reason perpetual licensing, you know, uh, um, software that we, we all have or you don't have. It's separate. It's 100% different. It's two different things. One's a subscription-based software that you pay $19.99 a month or you can pay the full year. And you get every single thing that Reason Studio makes, plus you get their, their sound packs every, every week and, and all the stuff they're putting out every week, every update they're putting out, all new stuff they make, everything. It's $19.99 a month and you have access to everything. Okay. With the Reason Studios software that we have you know, for years, we own the software, but we don't get everything. And you, can, you, you get what you get with Reason 11 right now and any rack extensions you've bought or, or refills you've bought. You own them. You don't have to pay monthly for them. You own them. Okay. Now, if you go to the Reason Studio site, this is what it looks like now. You don't see Reason. What you see is Reason Plus, Story Support, Try Reason Plus Free, uh, the Reason Rack, Sound Packs, you know, and all this. This is all to push their new subscription, which is, it's, it's, you know, that's what they're doing. And I'll say right off the bat, if you do not have Reason, you've never tried Reason, you know, you've always been in a different DAW, it, it will, you, can, you can try Reason and every single thing that Reason Studio has for a month for free. You can do it for free the first month. It says it right here, first month free. And if you are a Reason 11 owner, you can try the subscription uh, for the first year for half off. But just remember, Reason Plus is a separate application than your Reason 11 software. It's two different things. So this brings the question. What happens if you start you know, paying $19.99 a month for Reason, whether you're the first-time user ever uh, or, or you're a Reason 11 user and you want to try it out, and you get everything in the Reason Plus you know, application? You use it, and you cancel. You can cancel anytime, no problem. So you cancel. You lose everything in the Reason Plus. You don't have, you lose it all. You don't have the Reason Plus application anymore, but you still do have your Reason 11. Everything is, is still the same. So people are saying, well, well do I, you know, what, can I go into the, um, the App Store if I have the Reason Plus? Well, you can go into the App Store. I don't think they have it working just yet. As far as I read today, it's not working just yet. But when you do that, then if you buy any rack extensions that are not Reason Studio rack extensions, then you will own those rack extensions. But if you quit Reason Plus, then all you will do is own those rack extensions and not have Reason to use them in. You would have to buy Reason 11. And one thing I'm seeing here on their site if you go to their site and you scroll all the way down, this is where the shop is now, and this is where Reason is. Go to Reason, and what the, this is Reason 11, right there. Try it for 50, uh, 30 days, and you would get all these, these you know, what, what is standard, but it's not, as, it's not everything, okay? And you can get Reason Suite. It's $5.99. But down here, you don't see intro or light anymore. 
it's just Reason 11. You can upgrade from Reason Intro or Light, or you can upgrade to a Reason 11 from a, you know, another Reason 10, 9, 7, or whatever for 129 or from Intro or Light, it's 299 So the, I believe the Intro and the Light are no longer offered. It's just Reason 11 or Reason Plus. Okay, so, I mean, that's it. It's pretty simple. And if you go to, um, I'll leave a, li a link to this down in the description. There's a, there's a link here for product uh, support. Go right here if you want to come here. And you go right here and just click this. And you have, you have all these questions that you may have that you can, it, they'll answer for you. But you know, I just wanted to let everybody know that's what this is. They're offering a subscription service, and if you want to subscribe and just pay $19.99 a month and never have to worry about an update, never have to worry about buying another rack extension that they make, this is only rack extensions that Reason Studio makes um, or any updates or anything and have access to sound packs, then that's the way to go. If you don't want to do that, then you just stay with Reason 11 or Reason 10 or 9 or whatever you have. And if you ever want to update, just update to the perpetual license and use that and, you know, do, do things as they've always been. And if you want to go to the shop now, you got to go down to the bottom here. They don't have the link on top anymore. And then just scroll down to the shop. And now we're back to the normal stuff. You know, you go up here. This is the new latest greatest. They're pushing that and the pattern um, mutator and then reason 11, which you can still get. These are the, the three newest things. You know, they're always pushing their software. That's what they make. And of course, it, it's, I love their software. And they have their newest, latest, greatest rack extension, which comes with reason plus. It does not come with reason 11. You have to buy it. Um, this rack extension, and then they have the new Reason Plus subscription software, which is a separate software. It's separate than the perpetual software, which is Reason 11. So there you go. It's that simple. It's not complicated. And, you know, you can always try it for a, mo a month. You can try it for half off for one month. And see if you like it. If you don't, then don't, then don't try it. But it's, um, it's pretty cool. I think it's a, it's, a, it's a great, great thing for someone who's never tried Reason. It gives them a chance to just dive deep into this great software and all it has to offer for a very cheap price. And see if they want to do it every month or just, you know, buy Reason 11 or Reason Studios. So... That's what it is. It's nothing more and it's nothing less. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next session. You take care. <laughs>